Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Good day folks, welcome back to On The Bench. Today I'm going to tie you up my version of Pat Dorsey's Top Secret Midge. This midge is supposed to be absolutely deadly. I didn't have the exact original uh, materials to tie the fly, so I've substituted a couple of them, which I'll show you in the video. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For hook I'm using a Sprite. It's a Scud barbless hook, size 16, 1x short and one time strong. For thread I'm using Semperfly Classic Waxed and it's dark mocha brown. For the rib I'll be using Semperfly Floral Bright in white. For the wing, I'm using Micro Glint Tinsel in pearl. And for the head, I'll be using Semperfly Kapok uh, dubbing in rust color. So just go ahead and start your thread on the hook with a jam knot. It's not that off. Next, take your um, white ribbing material. I'm using the Floral Bright by Semperfly. If you don't have that, Pat Dorsey just uses white thread. I think he uses six aught. I'm just trying this out because I have it and it does glow so I'm curious to see you know how it does and then just begin building your body I'm going to take it I'm using the um, floral braid to help butt the wraps up so I don't miss leave too many spaces on the hook you know it takes a minute or so to do but it's worth it if you're trying to build these little slim midge bodies and I I heard this one does really well in certain rivers only when it's really slim and then just bring your thread back up and I'm just gonna go down just a little ways just to build a slight taper into this hardly even noticeable and then just give that a little whip finish or a half hitch Pull my thread out of the way. Next, just take your rib material. And there seems to be quite a few uh, ways to tie this. I've seen, you know, just three or four ribs on it. Um, and I've seen it done this way. I prefer it this way. It's more like a coronamid or a quill body or something. In fact, it's a really good imitation of a quill body. Put that out of the way. I'm just going to tie this off at the top. Really well. You could take and um, glue the body at this point, or you know, like with crazy glue, or some kind of head cement for the purpose of the video, I'm not going to bother. You could use UV resin as well. So next I'm going to do my wing and um, I'm going to use the Micro Glint by Semperfly because I don't have the embroidery thread that Pat Dorsey uses. He uses some sort of a white thread. It's a specialized thing and I can't, I don't know where to find that here in Canada. So I, I like the way the Micro Glint looks and all I've done is I've taken four pieces. And I'm just going to tie it on top. I'm leaving it forward for a reason. Just tie that in and then fold this back. That should give you a nice little, go over top of it a little bit. Get a nice little wing case on there. I'm just going to make a little thread base for my dubbing. Tie that up good. Pulled it up a little bit and then you just want to trim it. It's quite short, um, not quite to the end of the body. About there is good. Next, take some of your super fine dubbing, uh, dry fly dubbing. I'm using the K Pock by Semperfly. It's a natural dubbing that they used to use in life jackets, floats forever, builds a really nice. Um, Fairly easy to build a nice tight little noodle with it. And you can just 
Got that on there. That's good. And then whip finish. Give it a couple. And go ahead and snip away your thread. And that's it, my version of Pat Dorsey's Top Secret Midge. Thank you for joining me on this edition of On the Bench. Take care, everyone. Conserve the waters and tight lines.